What's up, everybody? Welcome to our weekly video. I'm Sami Abusad, Director of Education at T3 Live. We're going to be going over the market. We're going to be going over some swing ideas for next week. But as always, before we start, I have to share with you a standard required disclaimer to let you know that trading is risky and that whatever we discuss today is for educational purposes only. So make sure you agree to that before proceeding with the video. Also, if you'd like to get a copy of my free ebook, link is in the description. Link is in the description. But Without further ado, let's go ahead and turn on the charts and get started by reviewing the market. First, we'll go over the Qs. The Qs has been basing above the 20 MA on the daily chart, which is bullish. Of course, the 20 MA on the daily chart is totally flat. So I'm not, I don't think the market, I'm not expecting the market. I don't think the market is ready to go just yet. It would be ideal if the market were to base for another week or so above the 20. Uh, but it is bullish. It's certainly not bearish. Here's the weekly. That's really bullish. We had the igniting bar a couple weeks ago. Last week was basically a sideways week. And then next week, we might actually break out to the upside. So that's the cues. The SPY looks pretty similar too. Here's the SPY, even more bullish at the all-time high. So we have the igniting bar. The narrow range bar, sort of, it wasn't a very narrow range bar. And then next week might be the continuation bar, the one, two, three setup. But I would rather see the market base for one more week because the, the 20 is still flat. But the bias is no doubt bullish, okay? So that's the market. In terms of swing ideas for next week, here we go. We got ASMB. This is a gap fade trade. I do these every every now and then because when I get a big gap and give me one second. So basically, the, the entry is over the, over the base as a breakout. Stop is under it. And then target is really the gap fill. It's up here, but it's not going to get up to 15 bucks. So I'm targeting on this, this pivot right here around 11, around 10 bucks. It's, that's, that would be a huge trade. That would be like a 100% gain. So in the initial target is going to be trailed on a bar-by-bar bar basis. And then if I can hang on to it, then yes, $10 would be my second target. CELH C -E is an EV stock uh, and had the breakout, had the narrow range bar, and now we have a 1, 2, 3 setup if we can take out 32.75 with a stop under $30 or so. CGC looks bullish, cannabis stock obviously. Breakout over the base, stop under, and then target would be the top of that red bar, which is around almost 27 bucks on the CGC. CRSR looks good to me higher, over 29.50, stop under 27.50. If you'd like to, uh, copy the list without having to type it up. I draw, I copied and pasted it into the description of the video. So just go to the description, copy it and paste it so you wouldn't have to type it up. I forgot to mention that at the start of the video. Also, if you find benefit in today's video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, okay? Would really, really appreciate it. GSKY is a double top, double bottom that is on the daily chart. So it dropped a lot retested the prior support and is double bottoming. So the entry for this would be over this bar's high, which is 366, okay? Stop would be under the red bar's low, which is 334. So not bad at all. KLA, I don't love it on the daily chart, but let me show you the monthly on this. The monthly is amazing. It's a monthly buy setup. So I really, really like it. Uh, higher over 752 or so, basically over this pivot right here, 752. Stop under the, this bar's low, 690. You can also put the stop somewhere up here, like at 725 or so, 711, 711 I would say. But I like more more secure, safer would be 690. STSA is uh, transitioning on the daily chart. So it's just a breakout. Now the stock has been pretty weak. It's not one of the ones that I'm gonna do on Monday, but it looks interesting. Nice hourly chart, not a bad daily either, though it's been pretty weak, as I said. 
UPWK is a one, two, three, four setup. Bar one is the igniting bar. Bar two and three are the resting bars. And then if we get another igniting bar on Monday tomorrow, then that would be bar number four, four which is the entry bar. The entry would be over 31, 35 with a stop under 30 bucks. So it's only a 35 cent stop. UPWK. Last but not least is the WES. Similar, we had the, the gap up this day, the move up, and then the base, but it's a big stop. So entry up here, stop under the pivot. It's a big stop. It's not one of the ones that I picked for the newsletter and my own account. By the way, if you're a subscriber to the Strategic Swing Trader, uh, feel free to log on to your customer portal, your T3 Live account, and you will see which plays I picked for us, for my account, on Monday, okay? And you'll access the newsletter with the updated stops, with the market note, the note that I wrote about the market. So feel free to check it out. It's already ready for you to view, or as always, you can just wait for the email to go out by eight o'clock tomorrow morning, okay? It'll, it'll hit your inbox before eight o'clock. Uh, bearish list, blue had a pretty bearish gap down, basing at the lows, so I like it under the base with a stop just over this tail right here, over 46.88. Under the daily lows with a stop, I don't know what the absolute low, low is, it's 44.83, looks like. Yeah, 44.80. Stop would be over 46.88. So I like it as a short. GLOP, disclaimer, I'm already in it. It triggered the one, two, three pattern right here. Uh, oops, this day right here. And now it looks like it's going to continue lower. So I like it under 210. And stop is over 230. My initial stop was over 241. Over this bar is high. GME is basing bearishly. Looks like it wants to roll over. The problem with the GME is it doesn't have a tight stop, but it looks like it wants to roll over. So I like it short. I don't have an exact entry either. Under 1083, stop over 1195. Big stop. MVIS is a sell setup plus a base breakdown if it breaks under 177. So short under 177, stop over 191, I think. Okay? Target is the prior pivot high, which is around 152. VRM had a pretty bearish gap down and has a doji bar. So entries under it, stop above it. 34.64, stop over 36.65. It's a $2 stop, exactly. Uh, True is had a, also a pretty bearish gap down, but got a little sloppy, unfortunately. We have this, we have this tail now to deal with. So the entry with it for this would be under the base right here. So under the, this most recent base, under 388 with a stop over 410. When I say under 388, I mean one or two or three cents below it. Don't have to give it that much room, just a couple pennies below with a stop also just a couple pennies above resistance. That will do it for this week. I hope if you're not a member that you go to t3live.com forward slash swing to check out the introductory uh, one month, $49 introductory offer to my Strategic Swing Trader newsletter program. Feel free to check it out. If you're a subscriber, I'm glad you're you tuned in. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you at tomorrow's coaching session. But with that said, I wanna wish you a wonderful rest of the weekend and I will talk to you soon. Take care, everybody. Ciao.